happening right now. Honors in Phoenix for Lori Paestawa, the first Native American woman to ever die in combat. A sunrise service being held to mark the 10 year anniversary of that attack that killed her. ABC 15's Angie Holdsworth is live at Paestawa Peak, of course, a mountain named after this fallen soldier. And Angie, I'm guessing the friends uh, there telling you they will never forget this. You know, obviously, it's hard to believe that 10 years really have passed you. You think of the mountain that's been renamed for her, and it's obviously something that really is very close to us here in the valley, but really, very, she's very close to a lot of people, you know, throughout the entire country. Now, I just left a, a service that is going on there in the uh, Piestua Peak Park. Now, uh, the service included some uh, traditional Native American prayers and also was an honor for all branches of the military and also an honor to other folks who have given their lives uh, in service of their country. And I spoke briefly with uh, Lori Paestua's father. Yeah, 10 years been, to me hasn't been all that long, of course. But uh, to have all these people that come, especially the Gold Star family, we really enjoy them coming because it's their mountain too. And Lori Paestua did leave behind two very young children. We understand that her son actually ran a staff to the top of the peak. Christopher? Yeah, very touching indeed, Angie. I think a lot of people around the valley will certainly remember uh, that incident when it was all linked together that she was lost. Angie, thank you very much for keeping us updated on this.